Hello guys, welcome back to my bite size tutorials and in this specific topic I want to discuss about uh, the possibilities of using GPU light mass in Unreal. Um, of course it doesn't come together with Unreal. What you have to do is to download some um, packages uh, from one of the uh, promoters of which called Luzang GPU light mass where you can uh, basically use this um, your light mass and instead of using CPU you can back the entire lighting and shadows inside uh, um, Unreal with GPU and this is a savior obviously because this is really handy and useful when it comes to the heavy project especially in architectural world this is very handy and actually thank you for Nazir from Daru Solutions for introducing me this uh, 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 this functionality that you can use in Unreal, but obviously it doesn't. This functionality doesn't come, as I said, as a base. With uh, then Unreal, what you have to do is to download these packages. So basically, um, uh, you don't have to go through all this forum uh, to explain it to you how it uh, works. But obviously, it's good to just read about it, what it's all about. But because people will find it a bit complicated if they start doing the things on their own. So I will save you time this time and. Definitely, I'll show you what you have to do in order for you to actually enable this uh, uh, functionality within Unreal. So it's quite handy. So uh, I also have included on the on the link below the video uh, the uh, entire uh, pro, um, binary uh, for the engine which we're gonna use to in order for the GPU light must be activated within Unreal. So depending which Unreal you're using, of course. Uh, in my situation, I use twenty four twenty five, and of course when you click on this. What you can see inside is the engine, it's a binary and config. And what you have to once you download them, what you have to do is basically paste them into their own engine. So let's say in my instance, if I go to uh, Epic Games, um, the Epic Games, and then I go to 425. So here, this is your uh, destination folder. Once you click, once you copy them and paste them over there, you override those uh, um, uh, folders, the binaries and config. But just to be uh, clear, that I'm just giving you a, uh, uh, this um, op opportunity so you guys can use a GPU light mask. So instead of using CPU light mask, you're using GPU in order to render. And obviously, there's a huge difference. So for me to render, usually a scene of such this magnitude, it took me about possibly 12 hours with all settings. And I'm using 12 cores uh, processor Ryzen but because i got titan rtx or you can even work with 2070 rtx or any 10 even 1080 uh, graphic card and honestly speaking this is gonna speed your uh, baking and you can shrink this entire time down to even like 40 or up to an, uh, even an hour depending on the settings you put in back for me like on the basic settings having this all set up here uh, you can really drop it down to even like 20 minutes maybe of rendering time so this is super super fast so of course make sure before you copy and overwrite the binaries and config make sure you make a backup and save it here because i usually do a binary and config so I, what i do i copy from engine those two folders binary and config and i stick them as in the backup engine folder so once you've done it obviously now then you can literally copy those two from the gpu light mass folder and uh, overwrite them on your folder here so once you've done it, what you have to do is quite simple, very simple. So you don't really have to do any much more. Uh, what you just do is just click on build, but make sure you set your lighting uh, quality into production level. And once you're happy with your settings on the world settings, they can just click on this. And this is going to basically build. So in the sworn agent as you have it, and usually to see the progress of how much it's been uh, doing as it's baking. It will automatically open up the little window of GPU light mass baking. So this is the one you should take and put, take your attention to, uh, pay attention to. So it's super fast. Believe me, this was a this helps to save lots of time for you. So as you can see, this is like a little window. So in my situation, instance, that usually takes about I suppose 15 minutes. So let me pause it from here and I'll get back to you after this is finished. So as you can see now, um, it's all this baked 
took only as let's go and open our swarm agents just to be sure how long it takes uh yeah so just by clearly about 1100 seconds so that's a very short period of time so if you go 11 divide by 60 so that's around 18 minutes 18 minutes of time took just to render on this entire thing which is very magnificent because it took only that much of the time so think about what you can do when you have bigger projects as well and also just to bear in mind what you can do is once you down with the um, rendering because what you can also set up inside your config folder um, in the light the base light mass uh, the quality of the shadows as well as the lighting of your gi i can show you very quickly what i mean by this so if you go to epic games and and if you go to engine then config and you go click to a base light mask so right at the end here the moment the primary gi samples are set to fade too so what you can do go to 6428 and the same goes here as well so instead of 16 put fade to 64 and higher it's just to get the better uh, results of your um, uh, baking lights and shadows that's where you should usually aim for the higher numbers uh, and this kind of improves your quality later on uh, once it's done but obviously the time to bake it it will take longer and it might quadruple time depending on the settings you just put yeah so that definitely it's definitely useful and this is something to look into it and of course if you guys want to know more about the Luxon uh, uh, GPU light maps then it's worth looking to the forum which I include as a link in the description and and if you feel like asking some question or anything like this please do it on the comments below and I'm gonna be continuing with that some bite-sized tutorials later on of course and I'll catch you guys later